Canadian Sergeant and Wurtz in second after the short program could not stay clean in the free. First on their side-by-side -side jumps, Christy couldn't hold on to the landing and touched down. You just can't make mistakes like this coming out of lifts like that and hope to stay on the podium. And then here, a touchdown on the triple sow cow. Not their best day. Following the short program, Wutzel and Stoyer were in fourth place, Ina and Dungeon in first. That meant that to win, the Germans had to take the free skate, which they did, and they needed one other pair to place ahead of Ina and Dungeon. Elza and Bushkov did just that despite their mistakes, and so in the final standings, Wutzel and Stoyer moved from fourth to first, while Ina and Dungeon dropped to third. Welcome to the crazy world of skate scoring, Jason. Coming into the long union, there's going to be some shuffling. and Just the way the shuffling ended up, uh, we ended up third, the Germans ended up first. So that's just the way it goes. You can compete long enough, you see it all. So in the series overall, their third place finish probably means that Inan Dungeon will not make the series finals. Jenny Mino and Todd Sand of the U.S., with one more scoring event to come, should make it, though, to take on the Russian powerhouse pairs. Russians have long been known for their pair